Today's video is brought to you by Erd and Gerke's Happy Seafood Fun Time Yum Yum Wow Restaurant, where you see food and eat it. You can find this flavor blast in Blast Haven. Previously on the 10 5 Chunk Challenge, we had one episode of making a giant pile of crafting tables on accident, and then the second episode was forgetting to plant our saplings, but we did get tools, so this time when we get into the mine, we'll actually be able to head down into the rock and uh, pull up some more recipes from there. I'm Gunter, this is Mini Mishaps Games, and let's get started. Make sure to stay on till the end of the episode, we'll have a guest commentator. So I'm actually really excited for this episode. As you can see on the right, I am placing squares for each of the chunks that we unlock. So the third episode, this is our third square, our third chunk unlocked. And um, really just, those will probably uh, ultimately be traded out for icons or some other thing representing what's in the chunk. Uh, but for now, we've just got a sort of a general terrain map. Uh, they're not, um, not reflective of what is in the chunk. They are just uh, top-down maps generated by AI. And so those will be available for you on episodes until each one is Again, as they grow, the icons will be having to get smaller and smaller uh, so that they fit, especially since we're going to be doing, I don't know, seven or eight or so in this run down to the sand. But there we have uh, episode one's tower of crafting tables and planks and dirt. And we're just going to hop up here and take a look out before we start. So our plan today is probably to get into the mine, actually get some stone for our next set of tools, uh, and hopefully find, uh, you know, iron, <laughs> if not iron, uh, certainly coal, so we can get um, <laughs> torches. Uh, couldn't believe uh, that we lost that one stick last time. But, so this is where we're gonna probably start our timer. All right, we are ready for our gathering stage in three two one all right we've got 10 minutes on the wall there and um i'm trying a different set of timers so i don't have to run back and forth across the room i now have i do have a timer this time so the last couple episodes i wasn't able to watch along with you guys on the timer this time i am i'm i'm trying it out to see if i uh <laughs> can keep from uh having anxiety about the timer and if not then I'll just go back to having it across the room but for as for right now we're gonna try it and uh, we got our first stone and our first stone recipes so that's awesome it's exciting and how this is working is I am going to mine down um, in this staircase pattern until I hit the 15s of the first chunk so well, we have access, obviously, to the chunk all the way down to bedrock in all three chunks. But for now, we're just going to be uh, hitting those 15s in the first chunk and um, then turning and, and kind of spiraling down that way. Um, and that is uh, mostly to help me keep track uh, of where I am. It'll be easier to hit those numbers and, and then um, stay in that pattern. So... Kind of surprised we haven't seen any copper or coal yet, but um, it is a game of probabilities. So hopefully by the end of this episode, we'll have something that is more than just the cobblestone. And if not, then we'll just build out of the cobblestone and that'll be good too. We'll have our, I'm aiming for that um, second chunk maybe being wood. And if the chunk is too big, if we think we can fit uh, two buildings then the first building would be for wood and the second building would be for stone and that's put in the comments what you would want to do stylized for wood stylized for stone because right now our ideas are fairly basic Ooh, we got granite and there's some recipes to go with it that's awesome uh, because right now I, I have mm, shown that it is difficult to <laughs> build much in five minutes so in, until some of these uh, ideas start taking form it really is um, 
going to be kind of simplistic, but that's okay. That's We're here for it, and we can always add to it. So I got my base of stone. I got down to that second 15, and I decided I'm going to come up and uh, work out here on the borders and boundaries as well as uh, getting some dirt. Uh, take out some more of these logs, get those to fall. Oh, hey, a pig. Awesome. And uh, it looks like the pig is not going to drop anything, but... Uh, oh, nope, it did. I got I got pork chops. So it stayed in the 15 long enough. That's uh, one of our first animals. Uh, I think the other day we had a wolf catch a sheep, um, but I think the pig here was, that was our, probably our first mob. Uh, that we that we caught on the 15 in the right time during the the gathering resources time so that's pretty exciting we've got um, a couple of the trees that we've planted have grown I um, technically for the challenge I suppose I could have stood there and time lapsed a little bit uh, to let everything grow but I kind of like the idea that um, the game is happening in real time as you guys are, are getting to watch so we're gonna go down. I'm going to at least break this first pickaxe um, so that we can, since we're going to, now that we have stone, we can make, oh wow, that wouldn't take much at all. <laughs> it, was, it only apparently had one hit left on it. All right. So we'll mine a little bit with this second pickaxe. The, um, but now that we have that stone, um, we probably won't have much occasion for making the wooden set of tools anymore. Uh, unless for some reason we we lose all of the stone or use it up or not entirely sure how that would happen but uh, <laughs> it's minecraft it's a game about mining we're going to be digging there's going to be plenty of cobblestone to go around so we are on the i think third or fourth set of 16s digging down and this is probably one of the more redundant activities that you guys will get to watch um but uh probably will be the slowest time you watch us mine uh because after today we'll hopefully have stone tools and so they'll go a little bit faster and if we find iron then we will uh have even faster tools unless we Unless we use the iron for something else. So yeah, for all of you that do Minecraft, put in the comments if you have favorite stone or iron recipes, things that you can't live without in your Minecraft worlds. And uh, I know heading towards uh, the sand and the water, I will probably want to eventually have a furnace, which we'll have plenty of stone for if I remember to make it. And then um, buckets for uh, using the, some of the iron to make a bucket. Because um, once we have a bucket, then we, um, we can get all kinds of, you know, our, our infinity water source so once we get to one that has water blocks. And there we go, that's our second pickaxe. So back up to the surface. I'm also realizing that in future episodes, I will probably have to spend entire blocks dedicated to one area because otherwise we'll be spending a lot of time <laughs> moving <laughs> between the underground and overground there's a horse probably outside my 15s yes it is so you get to just enjoy the side of the hill there horse hey another pig it's a day for mountain pigs Kind of makes me wish that there were recipes you could get from catching a pig, but they drop pork chops, which also right now are kind of uh, limited to giving us experience when we cook it in the furnace um, because there aren't any pig recipes. The sheeps have all the wool and the cows and horses have leather. Um, pigs are pretty much just a food source, so... Um, well, I suppose if we find a saddle, we could ride the pig around as well. But, um, either way, we're in the, the, the axe and sword portion of our episode, which means that, um, 
we uh, were catching the pigs with the with the pointy end of the sword. And um, if we encounter a pig on the other side, then we'll maybe try and build fenced enclosures for the different animals. And I have that in mind for the third uh, chunk. So our first chunk here, our dirt mountain, and then the second chunk will be the storage for wood and storage for stone, and then maybe in that third chunk have uh, start building fences for the for the animals, and then. Um, So I keep coming back to make these uh, kind of corners and things more accessible. Again, I don't have any more pickaxes, so I am <laughs> stuck, I guess, uh, collecting dirt. Can't have too much dirt. I mean, technically we've had two episodes and we ran out of dirt both times, so um, I should remember and remind myself to take a couple of dirt back over to the beginning. It's been two episodes and I still ooh is that sheep in my 15? I don't think it is. I think that's his Nope, oh, there he goes. He's leaving. All right, lucky sheep. Looks like we got about a minute on the timer. I'm going to head back up here and um take out maybe take out some more dirt, maybe I won't. And um Who's that sheep in the... Man, they just keep... Animals just keep <laughs> leaving during the collection time. It's like they know. They come and hang out in the in-between times. Last time we had llamas. This time we have got pig and sheep. But uh, the sheep seem to be smart enough to stay outside of the chunk there. Alright, so I think... That's probably all I can grab for my build time, even though I've got about 10 seconds left. I'm going to start uh, kind of planning my my build time. So, ended up, we've got planks and stone and some granite. All right, we are ready for our building stage in three, two, one, and there we go. We have got our five minutes up. For our build time and I think we're gonna build we're gonna get grab basically everything out of the chest here that we can and first things first we're gonna make those uh, stone tools so I need to get some there we go get a couple of replacement pickaxes and it looks like we got our torch recipe I'm not entirely sure why you get the torch recipe for making a stone pickaxe since it takes a coal and a stick to make the recipe and neither one of those is stone or pickaxe. So we're making one of each or two of each uh, for the tools and then um, and then I'll probably drop off some to the and we've got some saplings, so I'm going to make sure that we get some saplings down in there as well. I also have to remember that we can do all of our um, inventory management when the clock isn't ticking. So um, for sorting stuff and prepping stuff and, and stacking and putting in chests, all that can happen in between. It doesn't have to happen during uh, the build stage, except for building the chest itself. We've got our one... Uh, lonely seed that we got from the leaves or from the grass breaking rather not from leaves and uh, so we'll plant that so <laughs> hopefully we'll have wheat at some point and that'll make it easier to encourage the sheep to stay in the block since they they chase you if you're holding wheat hey, bud. You want to be famous today? I want to be famous <laughs> So, um, what is your thoughts? Do you like building the little wood uh, saplings one at a time so that you can mine straight up? Or do you like this four 
big. Four big. And then it kind of has um. I like the four big. Awesome. So this is my build time. I mean, it's just five minutes long. I don't really have anything to build because of the other video. Yes. Ones? Yeah, I can go back all the way. This is the first one. Okay. Good. This is the second one that I already recorded and came out. And then um, this is the one that I just started today. I've been on the 32 now. My wall will be a natural wall made out of trees. That's for, super cool. For my. It's a, it's a fast way to build. That's I, for thought, sure. I can't believe you already have 32 views on your first one. <laughs> is that a lot? Yes, Feels that like is. a lot. Feels like a lot. Mm -hmm. I want to start a YouTube channel on miniatures. That's super cool. Will you subscribe? <laughs> Of course I'll subscribe to your channel. I'll need miniatures too. Well, well good news, we got lots of miniatures. Alright, looks like my special guest commentator is going back to other projects. I'm not sure if we'll uh, we'll get to hear from him again, but that was my son and uh, as you can see he's very excited about <laughs> all things YouTube and miniatures. But um, like I said, we're gonna make this sort of uh, side line of the 15s be um, a border of trees so that it kind of starts shaping our sort of uh, end view camera angles. Uh, I like the idea of sort of creating this backdrop of trees uh, so that you can still see the entire landscape from up on top of the uh, dirt mountain but um, at the same time we can we can stage our buildings and and sort of have uh, that feeling of being on a on a main thoroughfare main street or whatever and this is something I'm not sure is whether a tree growing will go through the crafting tables but we'll have to see and it looks like we might get uh, might get some more comments as I start putting the first uh, first building together. Well, you have wood planks this time. Two, three, I know, because I didn't make all. That was a whoops. Two, oh, are you making a house? I'm gonna make some kind of building, maybe a storage shed for stuff. Cool. Yeah. How fast do you think I can make it though? Oh, <laughs> I guess that's all the building I get for my five minute timer. That's a nice looking storage shed someday. <laughs> 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 it's a part of one. And what do you think we should do for next time, next episode? Try to find a ruined portal. Oh, like we should we should start heading towards that ruined portal? Yeah. All right. That sounds like a plan. This has been the third episode of the 10-5 Challenge. A special thank you to our bonus commentator today. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe if those are something that you do. All righty. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Internet. Bye.